This week, the Virginia Senate voted to pass a bill that would repeal Virginia's voter ID law. The original bill, passed in 2013 and championed by Virginia State Senator from Rockingham, Mark Obenshane, required VA voters to show photo ID at the polls when voting in a state, local, or national election. Supporters of the bill passed this week that would repeal Senator Obenshane's most well-known bill said Virginia voter ID laws affect minorities and low-income Virginia citizens. Knowing that the Senate was going to pass the bill to repeal Virginia voter ID laws, Senator Obenshane spoke up in opposition to the new bill anyways, as did Senators Bill Stanley and Jen Kiggins. It is not discriminatory in any way. It is pure fiction. Uh, and the fairness of our process is going to suffer. Uh, so now maybe we'll have free and open elections. But let's just forget about the, the fairness. Senator Adam Eben, who supports the bill to repeal, had this to say. In, in response to the junior senator from Virginia Beach's remarks, um, I don't know what it's like to be African-American. I don't know what it's like to be African-American and be born in a hospital in Virginia before, they were, before people were allowed to be born or turned away, not having a birth certificate, which in turn leads to you uh, getting an ID. Further, I don't know what it's like to live in a nursing home where your need for a, a utility bill or uh, a driver's license, as was said, or anything else is needed on a daily basis. So while we may have photo IDs that are used on a daily basis, there are plenty of people who don't. And I don't want to make it hard for them to vote. So with that, I, I hope that we do pass the bill. It was a bad day for Senator Obenshane. Obenshane, who is usually laid back in Senate chambers, smirking or glaring if he disagrees with something, was visibly flustered as the bill was being debated upon this week, speaking out of turn several times and anxious to speak when it wasn't his turn. Older. Which got it. No, I'm not yielding. Senator will not yield. Senator has the floor. It went into effect immediately following just point out a couple of things. Number one, it was a Democratic state senator. It was not. It was not. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm glad he's not alive to hear that because uh, that would uh, maybe be defamatory, but I don't know. Uh, second of all, uh, I'm not worried about the 95-year-old uh, nuns. The bill to repeal Senator Obenshane's pride and joy of his career as a senator passed the Senate by a vote of 21 to 19. Before desegregation, many African Americans, including my own father, were born at home. Because of the racism of separate but not equal waiting rooms and operating rooms, black women risked death by going to the hospital to deliver their child, so many gave birth in their homes. My father served as a probation officer and eventually as the director of the 26th District Juvenile Courts for 30 years. He retired in 1999. After the attacks on 9-11, laws changed and requirements to obtain ID at the DMV stiffened. My father could not renew his license because he did not have a birth certificate. He tried to obtain one for years but could not because he was born at home and there was no record of his birth. So the bill originally patroned by Senator Obenshane that required people like my father to have a valid ID in order to vote was a repressive law. And whether the senator aimed for it to be that way or not, it was and still is a repressive law. For a man to serve 30 years as a decorated state employee, then to be told that he doesn't exist and cannot renew his license or vote is shameful, disgraceful, and discriminatory. I do know what it's like to be an African American. And I certainly know what it's like to be under voting laws that repress the vote. When I registered to vote, I had to register under dual registration, which was designed to repress my vote as an African American. So, and I know why this bill was passed when it was passed in 2012. I know what it, why it was passed. And there was a lag period for it to go into effect because Shelby B. versus Holder was going before the Supreme Court. So it went into effect immediately following the Supreme Court's ruling in Shelby versus Holder, Mr. which President. gutted. No, I'm not yielding. Senator will not yield. Senator has the floor. It went into effect immediately following that Supreme Court ruling, which gutted the Voting Rights Act, which then said that States that were under the Voting Rights Act did not have to go to the Justice Department any longer to have their voting laws approved by the Justice Department. In the Breaking Through Newsroom, Theodore Whitelow, Breaking Through News.